Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, and welcome to one minute tennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the unit turn and how to get more power into your ground strokes. And I want to show you the difference between the unit turn of almost every recreational player, probably you, and of the pro players. There's a fundamental difference and a fundamental power supply that you're probably not using. Now, most players, as soon as they recognize whether it's a forehand or a backhand, they're in the ready position, they recognize it's a forehand, and they turn in preparation for the forehand. They recognize it's a backhand and they turn in preparation for the backhand. And this is not a unit turn. This is just a turn. A unit turn is a coiling of the body where, and it doesn't matter if it's open stance, see if I have an open stance forehand, I still coil the body. I have a semi-open stance forehand, I still coil the body. I have a neutral stance forehand and still I coil the body and make a turn from the waist using the waist and the hips. When you simply make a turn of the body, then you're now going to develop the stroke with the arms and the legs. And this is likely to be a linear movement. It's certainly fundamentally going to have linear force, just pushing through in a straight line. And we want to create rotational force in the stroke. And so to do this, the unit turn is from the waist. And see how I've turned from the waist, the knee is naturally bent, my hips are pointed towards the direction of the ball, and now I recoil back. A very clear example of this is if we use a spring. So now instead of the racket, I have a spring. And obviously, if I just turn, then the spring turns. And now I turn back, and the spring has no energy. It's just the push of my arms and my legs. But now, instead of turning, if I coil, and I rotate and coil, then now, when I release the spring, suddenly, there's a recoil of energy and force. And the racket's exactly the same. The human body can use this coiled energy in exactly the same way. So every time you're in a comfortable position, then you should coil from the waist like the spring. Don't turn. If you turn, it's just the arms and the legs. So coil and then recoil. You then have potential energy, and then it turns into either kinetic or mechanical energy, whichever description you prefer. But that energy is in addition to the movements of the arms, legs, and the racket. This will create more power, and it's easy power. And it's available on every stroke, the forehand, the backhand, two-handed, one-handed. Use the unit turn correctly. Use it like the pros and coil. And then recoil, and you'll have more power, more speed, and more spin. I hope this makes sense. I'd love to know how it works in your game or the players that you work with. And remember, if you like our ideas, have a look at our books on Amazon. We actually break down the strokes into great precision, showing the science, the physics, the anatomy, the biomechanics of the stroke, and then give you super simple solutions with great illustrations, making it easy to make change in your game. And if you want more personalized help, have a look at what we're doing with online coaching. We're helping players in over 30 countries all over the world with a unique blend of video analysis and one-to-one -one coaching. For more information, have a look at the website or email me for details. So remember, use the coiling of the body. Don't just turn. Make a unit turn, then build up the energy, and then coil back or recoil into the ball, and you'll have more successful, more powerful ground strokes today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.